Kenosha, Wisconsin at Snap-on Tools World Headquarters. And I'm here with John Majorowski, and this is the Multi-Probe Ultra. What does this thing do? It provides you the functionality of a circuit tester and a digital multimeter all in one tool. Unintimidating and really easy to use. I like the colored screens for the different settings. What are the five different settings? AC voltage, DC voltage, ohms, amps and the switch settings. Got the alligator clip here, as well as another source of power. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to run off the 12 volt battery of a vehicle you're working on. You see you got a nice long 23 foot cord here. So for most vehicles, you can get to wherever you need to be. Another great feature of this particular tool is sometimes someone's not paying attention and a cord dragged across the open hood, gets caught in a fan blade and cut. You don't have to send them for service. You can actually purchase and replace the cable yourself. Wiring, electrical, very intimidating, but from what I understand, you have a great demo that's gonna showcase how capable this tool is. Can we check it out? Yeah, for sure, let's go. All right, John, here's the demo. What do we got? So the customer has brought this vehicle in for service, stating that rolling down the window works fine, but when I'm rolling it up, sometimes it doesn't go up. A technician might start taking the whole door panel off to say, hey, I gotta get to the motor right away. But with a tool like this, first we're gonna do some easy diagnosis by quickly getting into where the switch is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have it on the ohm setting, and I just wanna confirm I have connectivity here and then I've discovered the right wire. So if I get a reading, then I know I've got the right one. So as I'm seeing here, I do have a reading. So the next thing I wanna do is see the amp draw on the motor for going down and going up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the amp mode. And first we're gonna roll the window down. I throw some power at it. Reading is six, five amps. So now we're gonna look at it rolling the window up. So I gotta reverse these, throw some power at it. 12, 13, 12, 11. So it's taking a lot more draw on the motor to raise the window than to lower the window. So that leads me to believe it's probably the lifting mechanism for the window itself. Saved a lot of time, very efficient, and you didn't rip the whole panel off. Correct, yeah, we diagnosed our problem. We know we need to get in here now. Well, time is money, so I gotta say, you save some time and you're gonna save some money. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm.